Hello everyone and welcome back to Genie Crafts. In today's video, we are going to see how to create your nail placement diagram because that has been one of the most common questions or the most asked question that I have got against the video on the string portrait art creation that I recently released. Now, a lot of many of you have asked that how to evenly space the nails and you know how to get the exact nail creation diagram. So guys, today we are going to see how to do that in the software Inkscape. Now, as we know that Inkscape is a open source software, that means that you do not have to pay anything for it and it is available for both Mac and Windows. So go ahead and open the Inkscape software on your system. Once the Inkscape software opens, you are going to see a default document size, which is your A4 size. The first step that you need to do is to adjust the size of this document as per the size of your circular board. So let's say you have a circular board of 50 by 50 centimeter. So we are going to make the size of the canvas or the size of this white area slightly bigger than that. So let's say 52 by 52 centimeter. To do that, press Ctrl Shift D on your keyboard, which will open the document properties window. Since my dimensions are in centimeter, so I'll make it 52 by 52 centimeter. Once this is done, you can close it, but the canvas has now become very big. So to center it on the working area, press 5 on your keyboard, which will center the canvas. The next step, we are going to draw the circle, which represents your board. So simply draw any circle. You don't need to worry about whether it is circle or not. We can change the dimensions. Now the circle that we have drawn should be of 50 by 50 centimeter because it represents the board. So 50 by 50. This is all very optional, whether you want to do it or you don't want to do it completely up to you. This is just for guiding purposes right now. Now the circle needs to be aligned centrally with respect to this document. So under the object menu, you will see a short menu of align and distribute, open it. And this circle needs to be aligned with respect to the page. So relative to page there are many options here but keep the page selected for now and then align it vertically and horizontally so that it comes on the center of the page now we don't want anything to be filled here so simply press white in case there is no border coming you can double click on this fill or stroke menu whatever is available for you and under the stroke paint select this so that the border comes because by default it's quite possible that this cross is selected you simply need to select this for the border to come and if the thickness is too much you can reduce the thickness here okay now normally we do not place the nails right on the edge we place it slightly inside so i'm going to create another guiding circle slightly smaller than this so i'm going to place my nails one centimeter on the inside so the diameter of the inner circle is going to be 48 centimeter by 48 centimeter. So simply control C, control V to create a copy. Go back to your align and distribute menu and align it centrally with respect to the page and change the dimensions to 48 by 48. Even if these are slightly off, it's okay. It does not matter much. Now that the dimensions and everything are in place, we need to draw one single nail, basically two nails, one at the top edge of this inner circle and one at the center of the page. So draw another circle. Now normally the width of the nails will be what? Two millimeter by two millimeter. So let me change the dimensions to millimeter again. So this will be two millimeter by two millimeter. And if you'll see, it will automatically be filled with the last color that you have used. We want it black, so I'm going to select black in the fill here. You can use any color as you want. See this nail is here. Now, we want to align this nail right at the center top of this inner circle. The alignment has to be done with respect to this inner circle. So first select the circle, then keeping shift pressed, select the nail. You will see both are selected when you will zoom. I'm zooming in by pinching in and out on the uh, you know trackpad you can use the mouse scroll wheel button also while this is selected select with respect to the first selection 
and align it first centrally and then at the top which will put your nail right at the top edge of this particular uh, you know inner circle unselect everything select this again create a copy to make the center now this nail has to be placed centrally on the page so you can change it here back to page and do it centrally and vertically now we are done with the setup and finally we can create a clone of this nails in a radial fashion so to do that first we need to define the center for cloning so this nail needs to be replicated in a radial fashion with respect to this center so first we need to define that center so to do that zoom in right now you see the selection like this just click on it once again and the selection will change like this now you can move this center anywhere you want so I'm going to move it down and down and down you will notice that the size of plus will not change it will remain as big as initially once you reach near the center you can zoom in again and you can place it approximately at the center of this nail it doesn't need to be accurate don't worry about that even if it is slightly off that's okay keep this selection do not click anywhere then go to edit select clone and under the clone create tiled clones now you'll see many options here and I'll not go into the detail of all the options I'm simply going to talk about the ones which you need to change so that you can create your nail placement diagram under the symmetry by default simple translation will be selected let it be do not make any change under the shift by default you will see here zero actually by default it will be zero what you need to do is change it to minus hundred now I'll show you what happens when you don't change it but first first let's change it to minus hundred under the rotation we need to provide it with the degree by default this will be zero and by default this will be 2 by 2 now the things that you need to change on this uh, menu is first you need to make the row number one second you need to change the number of columns by the exact number of nails that are going to be used in your string portrait so let's say I'm going to use 200 nails here and I'll show you how it works with other number of nails also now there are total 360 degrees in a circle so when you divide 360 with 200 nails you get 1.8 degrees whatever answer you get here needs to be put here so this is 1.8 once you are selected done and you are ready simply click create and you will see a nail placement diagram now can you see that all the nails have been placed properly equally spaced you don't need to worry about the place now all you need to do is take a print of this diagram on the exact size of paper put it on top of your board and simply hammer in the nails on these small dots now 200 is a very even number it's very easy to do it manually also but let's say what about 197 nails so let me press ctrl z to remove this diagram and click again on this and click again please note that the center needs to be represented when we are creating the clones so let's say I have 197 nails now it, with 197 nails it's very difficult to get the exact degree separation it will not be an even number like 1.8 it will be a very irrational number so let's get that number 360 divided by 197 you get 1.82744 triple one two seven four triple one and you click create the only condition is the multiplication of this number and this number has to be 360 degrees that's it now we made the change here to minus 100 so let's see what happens when we keep it zero so I will remove the diagram again I will select I'll select again let's make it zero and click create so what happens is that the nails 
position keep shifting from the center the center is actually keep getting shifted so we don't want that that's the only reason we put minus 100 here it will work with other numbers also but minus 100 is what we normally use okay and every time you don't need to press ctrl z you can simply you know uh, keep changing this number and keep changing this number and keep clicking on create so once you are done with this you can get rid of the outer circle inner circle and anything that you don't want on your diagram so let's say i don't want my outer circle i don't want this inner circle i would recommend to not remove the center because that will give a perspective where the center of the board is and once you are done save this inkscape file as a pdf file and let's call it nail placement diagram click ok go back to your desktop let me refresh here is the nail placement double click on it and you will see your nail placement diagram so now you don't have to worry about how many centimeter apart the nails have to be or you know what should be the degree separation between the two nails the system takes care of it and you can work with any number of nails so now you don't have the restriction when you are generating your template to work with a specific number of nails whatever number of nails give you the best template best output you can work with it and with this method you can create your nail placement diagram take a print out of it put it on top of your board and hammer in the nails remember you can keep those inner circle outer circles within your diagram that's completely up to you as you can see that i have two nail diagrams here in one the circles are there in the other i have removed the circles. so that's completely your choice so guys i hope you found this video useful on how to create your nail placement diagram for your string portraits if you guys like the video then please do not forget to hit the like button and share this video with your friends and i will see you guys very soon in my next video till then stay safe take care and Bye-bye.